afternoon. It is Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead, and it is, I think, August the 13th, I think. Um, but anyhow, it's Thursday, and I hope you're having a good day. I'm feeling blessed and protected. Um, so, the situation here on the homestead is we are really socked in with a lot of smoke. So there are a lot of fires all over in our area from that big lightning storm we had, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And um, they build a fire line about a mile and a half, uh, the way the crow flies from our from our place. And uh, But it's across the river, which is very dry, uh, not a lot of water in it and across some uh, farm fields that are, you know, pretty, a lot of dirt because there's horses keeping that down and the two lane highway. So feeling okay so far. I did go ahead and contact my insurance agent though, because since this was a lightning started fire, there was a concern, are we gonna be covered? Uh, if something happens or will this be count as an act of God? And um, although we certainly know that it is not God that brings these evil things, but it is the Antichrist. It is Satan who seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. So anyhow, I was happy when I found out, when I talked to my agent, and found out that wildland fires are definitely covered. So um, we are not even a level one um, evacuation, although they said for in these type of areas, we should always be at level one for evacuation, which simply means um, to be kind of getting ready, have your important papers ready, um, way if you need to transport things that are really precious to you um, your animals maybe some of your um, family heirlo heirlooms um, things that are important antiques um, whatever you'd want to be taking be thinking about that have that kind of ready uh, by level two which is get ready um, I would want those all loaded up in my car or pick up, you know, if we had a trailer that we were, uh, going to haul some things in, I would want it, uh, getting there. So, because level three means leave. The other thing that I found out was that we do have wildfire protection, which would mean if we got to a level three, which is at the point that we would have be told that we need to leave now, um, that they would send in actual firefighters um, to help protect our property, our, our buildings here. Um, about, I don't know if it's been three or four years ago, there was a very large fire across the street from us that went up the hill. And when that was going on, they sent those firefighters. Now that insurance no longer will uh, insure anybody out here, but they sent somebody and they sat out in our driveway for two days. Uh, they checked all the perimeters. We had been really careful, especially Jason. He had um, raked down all the dying leaves. Of course, we try to keep it green around our area. Our gutters were cleaned out. Um, not a bunch of burnable stuff up close to our buildings. And so they saw that that was all good. And then they left actually after they had inspected all that on day one. And then they went down the road and contact were contacted by the insurance agency that told them to get back to our place. So they were here for a couple days um, watching for us. And it's interesting what they will do. They will uh, cut down any debris, uh, you know, trees or brush, flammable stuff up close to your homes. 
They will also um, clean out your gutters of burnable debris. debris. They will um, set up a sprinkler system using their own water if you don't have it um, to help protect your buildings, especially your home. And uh, they will spray foam your buildings with some sort of fire retardant thing. So um, anyhow, quite a wonderful situation for those of us who are blessed and are able to have that. What I am really more concerned about is my neighbors across the road and down the road. There are approximately a hundred homes that are in some um, danger, you know, if this fire were to get out of control. The firefighters have done a phenomenal job. Um, they haven't been able to fly helicopters or any aircraft for the last two days because the smoke is so thick it's unsafe for them to fly. Um, so that's disappointing, but the ground crews are all still working. You know, God bless them. Please protect them. And um, they're working hard building fire breaks. So that will be like a very wide road or a wide road. I don't know how, exactly how far that they will make. And then they will often back burn from that road towards the fire so that there will be less fuel. Uh, to burn. So they've been doing that. I talked to one of my neighbors uh, who the fires were on a ridge right above her place. And um, both the sheriff's office and the firefighters have been in contact with her. The firefighters uh, every day. And I don't know if that's, I don't remember if she said once or twice a day, they're coming down and they're giving her very detailed um report of what's going on, telling her you're safe to sleep tonight. Uh, but she's packed up a bunch of things into a trailer and her son took that out, I think today, uh, to take it farther away from the fire. So, um, you know, I'm just praying for them. I also ask that uh, you join in prayer for our area and so, so many areas that are being just devastated by these fires. We're in Oregon. Um, a small town in California was lost this year. We lost um, some towns last year in Southern um, Oregon. And so there's one called Oak Ridge um, that is north of me and their town is very threatened. So anyhow, um, I'm not going outside because yeah, you're supposed to wear an N95 mask to even go outside. That's how smoky it is. Um, and I've been outside already today, so I'm not going to show you around. I might do a picture this evening. I did work out in the garden with my mask on. Uh, I was out there for about three hours this morning. I think I got out about eight and I was back in at 11. I did a pretty heavy watering. Um, I found a duck egg just out in the middle of my garden because I'm trying to move my ducks all into my backyard in fenced area and garden because they're really good at keeping out a lot of pests. Um, and then I went and began working on the chicken house. It was hot. And so I really only got about a third of it done. I've got a big old wheelbarrow load um, all ready to go to a dump. But I got too hot, so I came in and cooled down. I think I'm going to rest for a little while. Um, maybe about two or three hours. And then I need to get up and get the rest of my peaches canned that I was blessed with. So I just want to say, may there be blessings and protection for you and yours. And whatever you do, keep dreaming. <laughs>